Good morning, kids. Happy uh, Saturday or whatever day it is in your universe. Welcome to my packing. Not the prettiest thing, but sometimes you just gotta get her done. That's how we get her done. You guys are so far away, I'm trying to make it more intimate. Finally got some sleep in me. And so hopefully today's training goes well. I've been told you I train about four days a week, trying to find a real plan now. Um, I wanna be strong. I've been thinking about it. Sometimes I want to be strong. Sometimes I just like training. When you've been lifting for I'm 32, I've been lifting, training for purpose uh, since I was 12. 20 years. Seventh grade. How old are you in seventh grade? I guess I'm 12 ish, right? I started with my strength and conditioning coach for basketball. So, um, you know, at that point, I wanted to get better at basketball, I wanted to get faster, I wanted to dunk, I wanted to be resilient, I wanted to be, um, you know, better than everybody at basketball, and I still do, and I still am. I'll cross your little ass up. And then, I went through a strong phase of, you know, late teens, early 20s, I just wanted to be the biggest, baddest dude. I wanted to look like Ronnie Coleman. I, I, I wanted to look like Dexter Jackson was one of my favorites. The dude wore Jordan. And he, he was so symmetrical, is so symmetrical. I was like, I want to be Dexter Jackson. And then you learn other things, you know. No, uh, no, no shade by any means, but that was not the route for me. And then I found performance training, strength conditioning, power lifting, weight lifting, and I wanted to be strong. And I chased that pretty dang hard for eight years or so. Um, and from there, you know, goals change, people change, and here I am, probably off of four years of kind of just floating, you know, enjoying training, enjoying working out, but no direct goal. Um, business goals come into play, life goals come into play, I bought a house, I've moved, I opened businesses, I've closed businesses, um, other things happen, meanwhile I still am training. Um, and not that my life is any less hectic by any means. Life is absolutely insane right now. But I got a little urge, you know, we're all on this. I've been watching Dexter. I don't know if you guys remember Dexter, but there's this Tony Robbins type character who's a murderer. And he keeps saying, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. That's the sound of your life wasting away. And that stuff doesn't normally hit me. It's just in my mind right now to tell you that it's pretty meaningless to me. But, um, you know, I know my clock to be my strongest isn't 30 years, you know, it's more like 10, 15 years, you know, I could probably sneak into my 40s and still be my strongest ever, um, but that's gonna take some effort now that will maybe portray later, so uh, I wanna get strong. Um, so today's heaviest day of the week, probably, if you throw it all together, I kinda go heavy deads today, um, medium squats, and medium is just a general phrase I'm using in terms of not only the intensity but the volume, um, comp squatting. And then it's the, it's the only day I do all three comp lifts with no variation. Uh, and then it'll be comp bench, also medium to heavy. I'll probably try to smash like a comeback PR of like fives, top fives. So whether that be maybe 305 or so, we'll see. Uh, squat, similar thing, maybe work up to 425, 455. And then deads, I'm gonna be pulling with the guys um, and we'll see how heavy uh, that ends up. Maybe Maybe, 565 to 585, somewhere in that range is the goal. Chilly, rainy morning here. Time to get after it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Salam Mike. I appreciate you all the support on the videos. Feels great, man. If you like the videos, be sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications, and give this thing a thumbs up. Comment below your favorite pizza topping. And then I'll know you're listening. I know you love me. And it also helps the video grow uh, and expand, which we need right now. Appreciate you. The, the second big thing to get kind of the paperwork business out the way um, is, holy crap, y'all are showing out, man. The compliments, the, the comments, the support of the 3SB.co drop has been insane. Um, and if you guys haven't grabbed your stuff, I don't want to tell you you're out of luck, but... We have very, very, very few things left. We might have a beanie left. Check the website, 3sb.co. We might have a hoodie in like XL or 2X. A couple pairs of shorts, not many. Very few sweatpants and some socks. Um, we have a couple tees left in couple sizes, not all though. So check that out. XLs, I think we have maybe some smalls. Um, so check that out. Your guys' support's been insane. And it's, it's crazy for me to get back to my roots of creativity um, and to fully expose it to y'all. Uh, is very nerve-wracking and, and anxiety-driving 
I feel like I'm standing naked in front of you, but uh, you guys, your guys' support has been insane. And my goal is just to create unique, small batch, one-off items that are highest quality that you can enjoy, uh, that you can feel good about wearing, be functional, um, feel good, feel good, dress good, look good kind of deal. So thank you guys so much. Uh, the beanie I'm wearing right now is from the drop. Uh, the shorts are from the drop before. And again, once it's gone, it's gone. Um, talk about coming in the gym, man. We're feeling good. Big deadlifts today. My groove is finding finally finding itself. Uh, I had a talk with uh, Mike Tashir. Um, very, very, very accomplished power lifter in his own rights. Um, coach to many champions. Um, the guy's been around the game for a very, very long time. Um, and so he put on his Instagram a while ago, he was talking about how things feel versus how they move in the squat bench dead coming back from a long layover. Uh, and I chatted with him a little bit about that. And him and I had similar experiences with ourselves and not only our clients. Um, deadlifts feel uh, heavy, but we're moving. My groove's good. Squats actually don't feel that heavy. They're moving really good. Uh, hit another double coming up. I don't know if I have it filmed, um, but a really heavy double. And so we're pushing towards that 600 pound squat coming soon. Um, but bench for some reason, not only lacks in strength for me on the comeback, uh, maybe because it's a smaller muscle or just not my quote unquote strength lift. It's not my best lift. Um, but also it feels so heavy. So then this last week, you know, I think we've been back on the grind maybe a month or two. Um, so we're starting to push that volume a little bit just because I am adapted to what's going on now, the frequency and the weights. Um, but it took about two months for, you know, 225 uh, to kind of feel normal for me. And so I go a little bit heavier on this bench day than I probably planned. It's my third or fourth bench day of the week, and typically I do a variation, but we were feeling good, and the bench press is starting to feel uh, groovy, baby. Um, so I'm really excited for that. Squats, you know, uh, the volume's probably the highest for all my lists. It's just what I can handle. Um, so feeling like a hair beat up, but nothing bad, and things are moving good. I found my groove easily with the squats again. I'm kind of built to squat, obviously. The pulls were grooving it goofing and grooving um but that's deadlift sorry bench for some reason just always feels heavy in my hands uh but i really excited to push my way back towards the 400 pound mark um real soon here i think i benched 335 uh for single and 315 two sets of four uh recently um past this video it's not in this video so that really really felt good uh comment below also what your, your experience is on a comeback um how things feel versus how they move and which lift necessarily feels heaviest in your hands on your back because it's bench by far for me the other ones i can kind of shake off and i can kind of muscle through bench for some reason as soon as i unrack it uh feels like a mountain again thanks so much for the support you guys are absolutely insane on the videos the 3sb uh can't wait to continue to make content here and 50 percent facts or podcast every single week check that out on any audio source you guys like to listen to uh spotify itunes etc etc um i love creating content for you guys it really is what i love and i love even more getting back to my roots of a more um tangible creation um with the clothing that we're doing the the, the cut and sew the unique items um to kind of share and unify us as a community again the good company motto um it means a lot to me and it means even more that it, it, you guys relate in some senses um, and that you guys are enjoying the process. So uh, I think we go up to maybe 295 or so on the bench, maybe 305. My math's even off. I don't even know plates anymore, but two plates, quarter, and a 10, and I move that for some reps. Um, again, feeling really, really solid overall. Yeah, here we go. I'm going with a medium to wide grip for me. I think I got uh, uh, kind of my ring finger um, straddling. Woo! straddling the uh, marker on the outside. Legs are tight. Feeling good. Um, appreciate you guys.